Good morning, welcome back to my channel. This morning I'm at Sandstone Lake, nearly nine o'clock in the morning. It's very overcast. We we're all lucky we had two days of sunshine. Today we're very overcast. Tomorrow it's supposed to be very windy. So decided to come out here today. Boy frying the drone up. Got some cool aerial video of him. Now Sandstone Lake is around a 45-50 minute drive from Brisbane on the north side near Bribie Island. It's an artificial lake. I've photographed quite a lot of bird life before here. You never know with wildlife. You never know what you can find here. But I know that there are variegated fairy wrens, red-backed fairy wrens, wattle birds, all types of water birds here. If you want all my camera settings, I've done a video on it and I'll put it up here now. It talks all about how I've set up my Nikon D500 and using the 200 to 500 mil lens. The thing that I like about this monopod setup is that I can go from landscape to portrait so easy. And if you look like this here, you know, like I'm bending down, going up very easily. It is just such a breeze and I'm not putting weight on my shoulders. Now let's take a walk. Now just before I start the video, I got a couple of very nice photos of some swamp hens just feeding looking for some like roots and the grass and all that getting low down got great photos already up to a good start being overcast you never know what the birds are doing but 10 minutes ago there was a lot of wattle birds around so now the problem with shooting on an overcast sky is the birds above you you're really not going to get too much view in days like this i tend to ex use exposure compensation and just try to blow out the highlights sometimes if i'm shooting in the shade so I get a nice definition of the bird. And we've had a lot of rain. The lake is actually quite high. This grass here that you see on the left, normally it's not there, it's just flat. And this is where a lot of the little doves hang out. And I cannot see any cormorants or darters nesting. Normally this place is just teeming. I mean like hundreds of them here. There's not one here this morning. Now you can do a really long walk around this lake. It takes you over like an hour and a half. But I walk about three quarters way around and then I walk back. Like always I state, to me, it's about getting out. I'm very happy if I get some nice bird photos. It's just about it, going out and enjoying nature. That's what I love about photography. Now here we go. Can you hear a bird? That was a fry bird. It's just over here. Where is it? Let's see, we'll just go through this little path here. This is great, there's always little paths in here. We walk through, and the fly bird was just over here. Where is it? Oh, gone. There he is. No, it was a wattle bird. Gone. But not all is lost. We'll come back around the other side here, because I saw where it flew. There are still a couple of darters around. 
I've got a couple of really nice photos of just a swamp hen here. Take a look at the size of their feet on swamp hens. Look at them, how big they are. Now I'll take a photo, these are just empty nests, but I'll show you like this is the, the size of the nest these birds build, these darters build. And you hear rainbow lorikeets in the trees. And we've got ibises in the back here, aren't they? They're behind the brush. That little point there in that little island is normally teeming with birds. Oh, oh, did you see that? You can just see it. There. I'm going to take a photo of it. It's a nice star there. I'm oh, real happy I got a couple of very nice photos of the data. There's a male and female just on the nest, but I could only get a photo of the male. The females are more greyish and the males are much darker black. So apart from like those two pairs, that's it. That's all I can see here. I think it's just the wrong season for the wrens because normally here, like the wrens, they just, they go ballistic here. I can hear all that. And Darlis and Ibis is just a couple. Now this area here is where I normally see the redback fairy wrens. Let's take a photo of just an ibis here. So if you had like bird calls in the background, I just play a back track of some songbirds, so it doesn't really mean that they're here. It's just when I'm not talking, you can just hear a nice melody of bird sounds, but not necessarily from here. It's way up the top up there. Let's see what's there. Now we're at the end of May, last day of May. I'm so looking forward to September going to Thailand and seeing what birds I can photograph while I'm in Thailand. And I'll just walk up to the lake here and just give you a quick squeeze. Now when they built this lake, they put these huge dead trees in there with some platforms for the birds, hoping that some ospreys would come and nest here, but they've never called this place home. Even the darters, they just use it as a roosting platform, but they don't nest there. Now I'm not going to get my hopes up, but I just saw a leaden flycatcher male. It'd be great if I could get a nice photo of it. Last time I was here, I was just sneaking in the bush, trying to photograph another bird, and this male just landed about three metres in front of me, and just posed there for about five minutes. Got a couple of beauty shots. This is where I saw him, just in these shrubs here. Just landed in there. It would probably really help if the sun came out, but it's not going to come out today. There he is. There he is. I'm going to put the camera down and see if I can get a couple of photos of it. <laughs> so what I'd seen wasn't a leaden fly catcher. It was this bird here. Still got a couple of nice shots of it. I'll put the name with the bird. Apologies, because on the top of my head I can't remember the name, so the name of the bird will be there. So I've increased my exposure compensation by one stop. So it's like one stop overexposed because it's so dull now what you can hear there the nice little chirping it's a brown honey eater they're brown against the grey sky good luck photographing them so we're towards the far right hand corner of the lake now I was just having a nice chat with an older lady who's just moved here saying that she just loves the wildlife here made a little bird bath for the local birds to come and have a bath. It's so nice when people look after the wildlife. Oh, there's a more hen here. Let's see if I can get a photo of it. So you a view of the lake from this corner here. You can see right in the centre there, all those dead trees are. There's willy wagtails everywhere. But do you think I can get a photo of a willy wagtail? It's so hard!
For about 15 minutes I was trying to get a photo of a grey fan car and just gave up. I did get one photo of a female Rufus Whistler. There's a pied cormorant here and he's just can't really get a photo through the brush here. It's just so hard. I'm going to stop, see if I can get it closer to the water. Well, this was the best I could do with that pied cormorant. Had to shoot through some shrubs. It looks okay. Now these aren't JPEG files. I just edit the raw files these days. Oh, we've got some Corellas over here. Oh, right there. Right up there. Let's just stop and take some photos of them. They'll come out beautifully against the sky. Well, it stopped again. Got a couple of photos of the Corellas. And then while I was taking photos of the Corellas, this little fairy wren just popped in front of me here, through the bush, very hard. That's all right, still another photo. Now we're just about at the corner here. This is normally my little rest stop. And you can hear the wild words way up the top of the tree. I can hear a lot of lorikeets, so maybe we're gonna get lucky at the end here. So this is my little stop here on the corner. Oh, my stump's gone. There was an old tree stump here that I used to sit down on. Here all the birds. These are too high in the, the shrubs. It's 10 o'clock. Been walking for an hour. About halfway around the lake. I'm just going to take a small break here. Have a couple of bickies. Have a drink. Listen to the birds. So many rainbow lorikeets you can hear them. They're right at the top of eucalyptus trees. So very hard to photograph. But like I always state happy with the photos but just more happy that I can be out here walking around seeing the birds enjoying the atmosphere so that's my number one goal just being out where well, you can hear all the birds up here we've got fry birds we've got rainbow lorikeets I did get a couple of shots I had one lorikeet just staying put long enough for me to be able to get a photo The sun's trying to come out. This is hard work this morning, I can tell you. A lot of hard work. Got a little path here. Let's walk through here and see if we can see any birds. I'm going to have to walk back out of here. I thought I could keep walking, but it's all flooded in, so I've got to walk back out this way. I'll just walk a little bit further up and then cut in into the bush. Well, I'm not going to walk any further in here. I don't like to give up, but I really think that I'm wasting my time going any further today. No, I'm just going to walk back now. Well, it's midday. That's it for me. I've walked around three quarters of the lake. There wasn't much bird life around, but from the time that I shut the video off, I didn't want to show all the walk back. I stopped at a couple of spots, got a couple of photos of a beautiful fairy wren. I also had the pleasure of meeting Karen and Cherie, who follow me on YouTube. So nice to meet you. Thanks for following me. So here are the photos of the birds that I took from the time that I shut the video off to now.
So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. It really helps me out. Stay safe, enjoy bird photography, and I'll see you next time.